All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the December 20th meeting of the Mifflin County Board of Commissioners. We'll begin this morning with a prayer followed by our Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Lord, Christmas is a wonderful season. Thank you for this time when we can joyously await the birth of your son. Our county is filled with people who reach out each day to help others. We are thankful for all of our county citizens and ask that you watch over us in the coming year. Please guide our hearts and minds as we make our decisions today. Help us to work together and encourage each other to excellence. We ask this in the name of the Lord. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, our first item is the approval of the minutes from our December 6, 2018 meeting. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. I'll second. Thank you. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Minutes are approved. Approval of the bills. Commissioner Postal. All right, let's start with accounts payable. Accounts payable total $694,536.35. Payroll accounts to date total $332,438.54. We have 12 checks and four EFTs from the 911 account for $8,090.50. One check from the LEPC account for $387.18. One check from the CDBG account for $942.49. One check from the CDBG home account for $254.16. And finally, one check from the Act 137 account for $225. I will make a motion to pay the bills. Thank you. I have a second. Second. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. Bills are approved. Treasurer's report. Treasurer Civitz. Our beginning balance was $356,525.71. We had deposits of $523,859.01. We had transferred from 911 for $3.54. We transferred uh, $500,000 from capital reserve, and we transferred uh, $429.48 from LEC. Uh, we agree with the reading of the bills by Commissioner Publisher leaving us an ending balance of $353,608.09. Our liquid fuels account has $310,789.45. Our liquid fuels Act 89 has $264,245.27. Our 911 has $2,709,467.59. Our LEPC has $15,696.47. Our local Use fund has $192,539.69. Our capital reserve has $4,068,237.74. Our certificate of deposit has $3,054,389.22. So I'll subject to audit. Any questions for Deb? Thank you, Deb. I have a motion to approve charge of the report. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Yeah. Commissioner's report is approved. Meetings and events. Commissioner Dunkel. Okay, it's been a busy time uh, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we had a department head meeting following our last public meeting. Uh, we had a retirement board meeting. I attended the Mifflin County Airport Authority meeting. We met with a representative from PennDOT uh, to discuss uh, future improvements, uh, street improvements. Uh, to the 3rd Street and Wayne Street area. The meeting was uh, for us to provide them with temporary easements so that they could uh, make the improvements which are projected to occur perhaps late next year or early in 2020. We had an Operation uh, Fairness meeting um, which is a result of our pictometry project and um, uh, to date that uh, particular program has brought in nearly $275,000 of additional tax revenue for uh, the school district, the county, and the local municipalities. 
I had a soil conservation uh, district uh, meeting. Um, we um, had a bid opening for the access control panel, uh, the new one that is needed at the prison. Uh, we had a briefing by Phil Lucas as to updates on future 911 uh, projects. Um, I attended the Central County's Youth Detention Facility meeting in Belfont. Um, and uh, on Monday, the three of us attended the um, quarterly meeting of the Junia Ada Valley Behavioral Disability Services uh, meeting. Um, I attended the Parks and Recreation meeting. And yesterday I was in Lewisburg attending the LEO and uh, Central Pennsylvania Work Development uh, Task Force meeting. So it's been a busy time in spite of the um, holidays. All right. Right. Thank you, Rob. All right. We attended the department head meetings, retirement board, as Commissioner Dunkel said, and later on in your agenda, there'll be action on a PennDOT meeting for temporary easements for a project on 3rd and Wayne. We attended the Kistler Borough meeting, Operation Fairness. We had meetings with our CDBG department and the solicitor on some pending ordinances for our bridge project. I attended a CEDACOG Joint Rail Authority meeting in Lewisburg. We opened bids for the access control system in the prison, uh, JVBDS executive committee meeting, meetings on the status of all our 911 projects. I attended a CEDACOG natural gas board meeting. We had a kickoff conference call for our broadband program in Mifflin County, and yesterday a DLI board meeting. Thank you. I had the department head meeting, the PennDOT easement meeting, retirement board, operation fairness, 911 project review, JVBDS joiner board, regional services corporation personnel committee, regional service corporation board meeting, and downtown Lewistown board meeting. Also, I'd like to welcome Max Obert and Stephen Gibson today from MCTV. Do we have any public comment this morning? Seeing none, we'll move to new business. Item A, proclamation recognizing Schuyler Chickalini. Whereas Mifflin County is proud to recognize the extraordinary achievements of dedicated and courageous young adults who serve as an inspiration for others in the community. And whereas Schuyler Chickalini is one of the top high school girls javelin throwers in the country. And whereas Schuyler is a three-time PIAA district and state qualifier with a PIAA district six and state championship and whereas Schuyler was selected by the United States Olympic Committee to represent the United States in the Youth Olympic Games in Buenos Aires, Argentina, finishing seventh with a throw of 180 feet and eight inches, and whereas Schuyler holds the record for the Penn Relays, Lock Haven Invitational, mid Conference, Millersville University Stadium, and the Chambersburg Stadium, and whereas Schuyler earned the Mifflin County High School indoor and outdoor records for high jump and javelin, and whereas Skyler earned international championships at the Caribbean Scholastic Invitational in the Bahamas and in Jena, Germany at the Javelin Invitational. And whereas Skyler captured the fourth all-time high school javelin mark of 53.96 meters, which is 177 feet and .4 inches. Now, therefore, on this 20th day of December, 2018, the Mifflin County Commissioners do hereby commend Skyler Ciccolini for her training, her commitment to her goals, and her achievements in track and field extend best wishes for her continued success in the classroom and on the field. Mifflin County Commissioners Kevin B. Codish, Stephen T. Dunkel, Robert Postal Jr. Motion to approve. So moved. Uh, I to second that. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Proclamation is approved. Skyler, can you come up, please? Yes. <clears throat> Would you like to say a few words first before you got behind us? Um, yeah, so when I went down to Argentina, it was definitely a big change for me, just being away from home and coaches and my parents for two and a half weeks. But I really enjoyed the experience. It was great to be able to meet all those new people from so many different backgrounds and countries. And it gave me more of a worldly perspective, I guess. And being able to compete against arguably the best people in my generation in the javelin event and watching the winner, the girl from Greece, break almost the Olympic record, but her country record and also the stadium record was really amazing, and it was just great to be able to meet all those new people. All right, we certainly congratulate you. It's, it's an incredible accomplishment. Your hard work has paid off for you, and you're a great ambassador for us. 
you, know, you put Mifflin County on the map and, and track and field, and uh, we are, we're looking forward to seeing how you do this year. Thank you. Per capita taxes. Amar Township Tax Collector Linda Marks has one. Wayne Township Tax Collector Mary Ellen Reed has six. Lewistown Borough Tax Collector Aaron Annabal has 26. Motion to approve the zoning. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Item C, request for exoneration of 2016 2017 Supplemental County Real Estate Tax Bills and relieve the tax collector from collecting these bills. So there's a parcel. In Brown Township, the value of the parcel was an error and would be rebuilt with the March billing. The county amounts are $792.04 and $889.31. Motion to So Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Okay, item D Health, Safety, and Welfare Resolution Number 20 of 2018 for the Diacon Lutheran Social Ministries Financing Project. I'd like to invite Steve Arose to come on forward from DICOM. Good morning. Um, my name is Stephen Arose. I'm uh, here from Stevens and Lee as a bond counsel for DICOM. And uh, we're here to seek the approval of the commissioners uh, approving the health, safety, and uh, welfare um, resolution for the project for DICON. Uh, DICON operates eight different um, communities within Pennsylvania, and they are refinancing their 2014 notes and issuing uh, a new 2019 note. Um, and in order to do so, they need to seek approval that it's in the best interest of the health, uh, safety, and welfare of the uh, residents that within the counties that the um, that the community sits and Ohessen Manor sits within uh, Mifflin County, so we're before you today to to seek that, that approval. Um, these bonds will be issued through the Cumberland County Municipal Authority, and uh, there will be no liability on behalf of Mifflin County. Um, it is merely just an approval that. The project is within, uh, you know, the, the best interests of the, the residents of Mifflin County, um, and there, I have with me uh, Mr. Layman Kusa from Diacon uh, to answer any specific questions you may have. Okay, this is just basically refinancing that in 2014. Yes. Total uh -huh. of 22 million five hundred thousand. Uh, that is a not to exceed amount. Um, the actual amount of the bonds. Uh, will most likely be less than that. And I assume this is at a reduced interest rate? Uh, it's at a, uh, an overall savings for the, um, yes, for DICOM. Are you planning any projects for this county out of the money or not? Uh, the money will, will solely be used to refinance that 2014 note. Okay, so, so it's not, you're not, it's not, you're going to build, it's not like you're expanding it. Build or do anything out of 
Uh, no, the, uh, he's going to retire the paper and move on. Right. Okay. Right. Just to just to refine that. Curious, has the tax exempt rate been set yet? Uh, the bonds have not been priced yet, um, which is why it's a not to exceed amount. Uh, the specific interest rate, as well as the principal amount of the bonds, will be determined once that's priced. Um, we're looking at sometime in early January to price the bonds. Um, this is the last of the approvals that we need to then move forward with that. Um, and. Okay. Any further questions? If not, I'll entertain a motion to agree. So I'll move. I'll second. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Item E. Lease addendum with Frank and Angela Polito for a premises located at 100 South Main Street, Reedsville. The Office of District Judge Ken <coughs> Smith extending the lease for an additional term of five years, terminating, terminating on December 31st, 2023 for a monthly sum of $1,125. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Item F, Mifflin County Domestic Relations Constable Agreement with David Suarez, Millerstown, PA, for the period November 29, 2018 through September 30th, 2020. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Item G, purchase of service agreement with Michael S. Gingrich, Esquire, as court appointing counsel for custodial parents in child welfare cases for the period January 1st, 2019 through December 31st, 2019 at a monthly rate of $2,125. Motion to approve. So moved. Thank you. Second. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. Which is approved. Item H is receipt of HUD funds. Allison Fisher, if you could talk about that, please. We just want to acknowledge the receipt of these funds. So for 3C group, uh, $4,135.40. Uh, again, 3C group, $17,197. Shelter Services Inc., two payments of $25,685.70 and 54502 78 Acknowledges for the record. All right. Took a long time, didn't it? We got them. <laughs> <laughs> What's the budget year, Alex? Is it, uh, it's two budget years, uh, 16, 17, 17, 18. So, and 17, 18 actually doesn't, it just ended. Um, so the way fiscal years run are a little different, too. Okay. Uh, 3C group, um, that's actually the number that we have concepts counseling. So they have a 501c3. Um, the HUD payments are, it's a federal shelter program um, the county administrates and then 3C group and shelter services. Shelter services is the leaseholder for the third street property. Um, and then 3C group actually provides the actual services Both to the customers. Yes, yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. It just has to run through a 501c3 corp. So that's why they use that arm of their Yep. All right, thank you, Allison. Yep. Uh, next, I'm going to ask that we combine items I and J into one motion. It's temporary easements from PennDOT for construction purposes on 3rd Street. We're going to need some work on new lights. One is parcel number 22, parcel number 203 is the other. So I'd like one motion to, for easements for both those. So moved. Second. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Applications for County Aid 2018 Liquid Fuels Allocation. Armont Township, $5,604.61. Granville Township, $6,337.46. Judietta Terraceboro, $1,000. Kistler Borough, $1,000. McVeightown Borough, $1,000. Newton Hamilton Borough, $1,000. Union Township, $4,664. 46 cents. Motion to approve these applications. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Item L, resolution number 21 of 2018, appointing William Gomes to the Cedacog Metropolitan Planning Organization for a four year term. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Item M, reappointment of James Schilling, Lewistown. 
for a one-year term on the CETACOG Board of Directors. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Item N, reappointment of Mark Lawson, Lewis Town, for a five-year term on the Mifflin County Housing Authority. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion is approved. Item O, reappointment of Mark Ellinger, Lewis Town, to the Agriculture Land Preservation Board for a three-year term. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Which is approved. Appointments and reappointments to the Mifflin County Hospital Authority for a f for five year terms. Dan Dunmire, Burnham, Victor Yoder, Reedsville, Dan Tapdich of Belleville. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Which is approved. Item Q reappointment of Brenda Stayra, Lewis Town, to the Juniata Valley Behavioral Developmental Services Citizens Advisory Board for a three year term. So moved. Second. Almost in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Item R, Federal Fiscal Year 2018 Emergency, Emergency Management Performance Grant, $123,135. Mr. Lewis. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is an annual grant that's used uh, by Mifflin County as a reimbursement for salaries for the emergency management portion of our office in the Public Safety Office. It provides for uh, up to 50% salary and benefit reimbursement for those uh, people responsible in our office for providing uh, emergency management planning and homeland security activities. Okay, any questions for Phil? Phil, does this amount, you said up to 50%, does this amount get us close to that amount? Um, they approved the grant, which we calculate the 123 as as 50 percent uh, as the year progresses and uh, they, they do a sliding scale across the entire state so sometimes we may only get 118,000 you know some amount for that they, but they approve that 50 percent <coughs> it's just that it's predicated on the amount available based on the entire state submitting for reimbursement generally we get fairly close this is federal money that comes through the state <coughs> yes all right, motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion is approved. Thank you, Phil. Item S, reappointments and appointments to the local emergency planning commission for a two-year two, two year terms. Scott Mallory, Don Hartsford, Lisa Swisher, Craig Wheeler, Wayne Daughtry, Dale Staley, Robert Schell, Howard Jackson, and Mark Teasy. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Motion is approved. Item T, appointment of Doug Cunningham, Mifflin County School District, to the Mifflin County Internet Advisory Committee. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Item U, 2019 meeting schedules for prison board, salary board, retire board, and board of commissioners. Motion is approved. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Item V, formal adoption of the 2019 budget. This was, we put it on display three weeks ago and we had a meeting to reiterate that if there's no tax increase in this budget, the total is $32.28 million. Do I have a motion to approve? I will make a motion. I'll second it. Thank you. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Motion is approved. Item W, personnel. We have the resignation of corrections officers Scott Durst and Victoria Miller, effective December 24th, 2018. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion is approved. That concludes our agenda. We'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll see you right after the New Year.